Starfield got its biggest update since the game came out last week, so I thought it'd be fun to boot up the game and check these changes out. Now, the big things are local maps on planets, which, yeah, were definitely needed. And then there's smaller changes like a dialogue camera. There's some gameplay stuff that we're going to check out. So I'm starting us out in uh, Jemison in New Atlantis here, which is the biggest city in the game. Now, I remember people saying, like, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous that you don't have a map to navigate this place because it's pretty big and it's multi-layered. There's many tiers to this place. So now let's take a look at the map. All right, so surface map brings me this view. So now we have all of this stuff rendered out and they've actually got all of these little icons, which is kind of cool. So I didn't even know there was like a weapon vendor up in this specific uh, penthouse. If I want to do things more manually, I could just like say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and ping this transit station spaceport and then walk towards it. And then also you've got, you know, your current location and which direction you're facing. I that was probably in the game already, but that's helpful too. But yeah, you could take this thing and zoom it all the way out. And it appears to just kind of work like it did before with the tile that's generated on the world. But then it's interesting because like there's unknown locations, but you can kind of zoom in and get an idea of what they are before you even go to them. And then while we're here, we might as well look at the new dialogue camera. So I'm going into the settings and then down in accessibility, you'll find dialogue camera and you can toggle this off. All right, so let's talk to this woman. I think she's got some dialogue for us. Hope Hello. Life well. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Yeah, so it doesn't do that zoom in thing like we're used to in Bethesda games. I, I'm not I sure miss. if I specifically I am going to be using this, bar, this feature, but, this but I do get like the point of it and why people would want this. It's a little more immersive, I guess you could say. And I'm sort of curious, what does this look like if you just engage someone in first person? Oh, hey there. How can I help you? Okay, so it just doesn't do the extra zoom in. You're still talking to people, which, yeah, is kind of cool, actually, because you still see, like, the facial nerd. animations and been. all that stuff. So I got an objective here to go talk to Walter. I'm just going to kind of, like, navigate the world using that just to show off, you know, the, the new map system. Okay, so we're going to hop on the old tram here to take us to the next location. Okay, so I need to get way over there. Looking at the local map, I guess now I know that I need to sort of navigate around this area to get way over here. Alternatively, I could just fast travel, except the game says I can't for some reason. I don't know why. I actually think that makes the city a little more um, impressive. I still wish that it was bigger because it does, doesn't make like a ton of sense that this is like humanity's biggest city. Okay, so we made it to the lodge. And yeah, it's like a it's like a small little change. All right, let's talk to him with the new dialogue options. You do that, and we'll get the necessary paperwork underway. Okay, so we're gonna go to Neon. All right, so here we are. I'm really curious to see what this map looks like. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Deliver a star parcel, what, to the bottom of the ocean in Neon? That's kind of funny. Okay, so this is what your, your ship looks like in this view. Very interesting, huh? Okay, so this is the outside of Neon. Let's travel inside. All right, here we are. Let's look. Okay, yeah. So this is, I think, a little... A little bit better it's, it's a way to orient yourself i do think that starting the game from the very beginning and you know doing an entire playthrough with these changes is where it'll be felt the most like just coming back and showing you guys things like i'm doing you can obviously compare and contrast but you're really gonna feel it if you're actually going through the game all right let's go talk to walter's wife this time i'm going to go into first person say hello to my husband i hope constellation is treating you well uh, oh has he now? My dear young man, what have you talked him into? All right, now let's go to our ship and check out some of those changes. All right, so now you can customize the interior of your ship by going into the cockpit and then finding this little decorate thing. So let's uh, play around with this a little bit. Now I can finally spend, you know, <laughs> the infinite amount of junk that I've collected and actually build things. Uh, put a couch right here. Beautiful. Uh, a gaming table. Oh my God. It's like, I don't even know what game this is supposed to be. I'm just going <laughs> to throw it right in the middle there. And now that that's taking up so much room, I'm going to try and modify some stuff in here. Oh, you know what? It looks like I can't already delete stuff. I can only modify things that I've already placed down. 
So in that case, let's go into the like actual ship builder and see if we can't get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, so it looks like, for example, if I want to change this science lab piece and make it empty, I have to edit it and then scroll through the options and then there's going to be an empty version that I can use. Okay, so let's try and make everything empty. So it looks like some of these pieces just don't have an empty option, which is good to know and confirm. Okay, so take a look at my empty ship now. Wow, <laughs> it really is bare. So now I can go through and decorate this stuff as I'd like. Yeah, it feels a lot less cluttered in here. Wait, what What in the world? I didn't realize you could just like step up to one of these things and cook. All right, I guess I'll make some alien jerky. Why not? <laughs> All right, now that we've played around with that, I'm going to mark a random place on Jemison, and we're just going to go over there. But first, I want to dive into these gameplay options because there's really a ton. So you can do things like change enemy damage, your damage, enemy ship damage. I do wish that they had specific percentages on here. Like it says you deal much more damage. <laughs> like it'd be nice to know how much more. And it also has this XP sort of thing. So looks like if you go down to normal, you're good, but they don't penalize you for playing the game. Uh, below normal, but they reward you if you play the game on extreme or sorry above normal any of these and then you could do things like change the weight of ammo reduce your carry weight cargo distance vendor credits which does give you a negative xp change which is interesting i think a lot of complaints for people about this game is that it removed a lot of what seemed to be some simulation elements or at least the potential for cool simulation elements. So I'm gonna pick a bunch of these options that make sense. So here, cargo access distance. I feel like I never need stuff that's in my ship. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that to only inside the ship and I get a little XP bonus from that. Increased vendor credits. I feel like that <laughs> that just should be a thing. So I'm gonna increase them. Sleeping doesn't heal you at all. I feel like I never sleep in this game. So I'm not gonna you know do that. So sustenance, this is interesting. You can set it to positive. So it gives you positive effects when you eat and drink. Then you could do positive and negative. So now I'll suffer things like being malnourished and dehydrated. Okay, this is interesting. If you get an affliction, you can't fully cure it unless you go to a doctor or maybe use an item. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, this is a big thing, environmental damage. It feels like this never factors in while I'm playing the game. So I'm gonna turn it on to advanced. Okay, so I've changed a lot of little things. Let's go out and do something. Oh, look at that. I'm immediately dehydrated and malnourished. All right, so looking at my health status, malnourished. Oh man, worse health, worse melee, worse carry capacity, and then worse oxygen, sneak attack, and reload speed. And I'm also addicted to stimulants, which isn't great. So I'm gonna go into my inventory and try to counteract this. Eat some jerky. There we go. And then why not? I'll drink some port. So I'm now hydrated and fed. Oh, okay. So it swings in the opposite direction. Now doing these things gives you pretty significant bonuses. All right. And I'm a little bit drunk because of the port. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to pull out my map and tag this random unknown location out here. It looks like some kind of structure. You know, I've played plenty of this game, but I've never actually ventured outside of Jemison, of, of uh, New Atlantis on Jemison. All right, here we go. Ow. I'm eager to check out when they add land vehicles. I don't know if that's going to be for the DLC that comes out later this year or not, but I think that will change the way that people play this game for the better. All right, this is some sort of toxic gas. If I stand in this, it's going to give me something. Oh, interesting. So I'm getting that sort of indicator like you are being gassed. <laughs> Please get out of the toxic gas. Oh, okay. So look at my health. I just realized what it was doing. It's taking my health down. Lung damage. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> okay. So now let's see if I have anything in my inventory for that. Uh, I have an injector that can help lung damage. Go ahead and take that. Okay, so prognosis improved. Uh, so my lung damage is stable. So it's stable, but not perfect. All right. And I still have a lot of that damage on my health. So it doesn't immediately, you know, get better. All right, I hear some combat going on in the distance. What are these guys? Herbivores. They're harmless. Okay, they want me to leave. No, I get it. Oh, there's my cough. You see that? 
I just coughed. Shouldn't have sat in that poison vent, huh? Okay, let's see if there's any people around here. I'm gonna use my starborn power. Looks like there are people. Okay. Um, oh, but you're pirates and I'm a pirate. I'm just gonna pretend I'm not a pirate. <laughs> oh, these guys don't, oh no, they do care. I was gonna say they don't care at all. I'm a former pirate. I've decided my pirating ways are, are not good. So I'm trying to make good on that, you know, change in my life. Okay, so we got a couple pirates who will be dying. <laughs> oh man. Man, the Crimson Fleet's gonna hate me after this. I feel like I'm not showing off much because these guys are only level twos and I'm just absolutely thrashing them. Yeah, this is not fair. Not at all. <laughs> Oh, my prognosis improved a little bit. You see that? Where are you going? Where are you going, guy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like that was... Yeah, that was too easy. Okay, we're gonna go to a, a system that's more appropriate for my level. Let's go out to the Heisenberg system. Why not? One thing that I really wish that they added is like a fuel consumption system. Because if I wanna go like someone somewhere really far away and just set a course, it says fuel consumption here, but fuel is just not like an actual thing that exists within the gameplay. So I feel like that would have been a nice addition, but maybe we'll do that in the future. I don't know. For now, I'm just gonna land on this random planet. All right, before we get out, let's look at the local map. Okay, and there really is actually nothing here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, so I landed on this random planet and it looks like there's some stuff we can go check out. But I'm getting that extreme ambient cold uh, thing. So that's gonna probably start to affect me pretty soon here. So I think when you add, you know, environmental dangers like this, it's sort of... Oh, is somebody landing in nearby? Oh, it's the Starborn. Let's actually go up to that Starborn ship and see if we can do anything with it now. I was gonna say, when you add different environmental factors like this, it makes crossing what would be an otherwise sort of empty and not so fun experience. It makes it a little more interesting. Oh, it also looks like they changed the glitch where my character would always look to the left when I was running. Oh, dude, I was just about to go over there and see what that ship was doing. I guess they knew. They knew. The starboard are always watching. Another consequence of having to actually deal with the environmental stuff is, you know, you actually have to look at what your suit does. Like, extra radiation protection, airborne protection, stuff like that matters a little bit more. All right, I made it to the ship landing site, but of course it's empty. Okay, I couldn't really find anything on that planet, so I'm gonna place a bounty board in my ship, <laughs> or at least I'm gonna try to. Oh, you can't. You can only do a self-service bounty clearance, which is actually kind of nice. All right, so I'm gonna accept a mission here to go kill some pirates. Uh, let's go ahead and set course for this place, which is a uh, decently high level. Let's do it. And just to make things more interesting, I'm gonna go into gameplay options and turn up the combat for everyone up to extreme. Alrighty, here we are. Open this bad boy up. See, the thing about already being a pirate is that when you attack pirates, they never see it coming. It's genius. Okay, there's my target. Check this out. <laughs> Wow, mission over. Killed it. Look at this idiot. <laughs> Up 35.7 times damage. No. Can you guys fight back? Somebody. Somebody fight me. Please. I'm begging you. Okay. This is what I wanted. All right. Let's see how hard this is. So I guess turning up the amount of damage that they take really does. Oh. I actually took some decent damage there. Hold on. Okay, that is one bullet spongy enemy. Let's go over here and take this guy out. Check it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to need to steal that. There we go. Peekaboo. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, I guess... Damage like that will make you a little more careful in combat because that was absolutely wild. All right, let's go ahead and shoot this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. 
So lots of enemies. Definitely makes things more challenging. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wow. Okay, level 48. Oh! <laughs> All right, so I know I only have half of my health pool because of my lung damage, but extreme is pretty extreme. It, it is as advertised. I feel like very hard is probably a little more reasonable for that. Okay, one last thing that uh, I haven't looked at yet is containers now have tabs. So, for example, if I want to go into this first aid container outside of my ship and just store an amp in there, I can do that. But then I can also go into the Wanderer and mess around with all of the inventory items I have in there and transfer those things back and forth. So it's just like a little quality of life change. The other big change in this update is being able to change your traits when you go through the Unity, which to be honest with you guys, I might actually do after this update. I might like find a, a sweet spot for like a survival mode-esque uh, combination with these new gameplay changes go through the Unity, and then play through the game again. I've kind of been on a Bethesda games kick lately, and so it might finally be time to go back to Starfield and check things out with this update. But yeah, I think these are generally some good changes. I think it took a while for these to come out, maybe a little too long for some people, but I think after spending like 150 hours on this game when it first came out, I, I needed some sort of update to give more substantial like changes to actually get me to come back and play. And I think what'll really get me to come back and play more of this is number one, land vehicles over everything else. And then number two is the DLC, which is supposed to deal with the Varun uh, faction, which you basically know nothing about outside of uh, your companion, Andresia. So yeah, guys, this was a fun uh, look at Starfield. I'm glad I came back to check this stuff out. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it useful or entertaining. If you did, remember to hit that like button. Also sub to the channel for more videos like this and ring the bell so you don't miss my next one. Thank you guys once again for watching and I will talk to you next time.